And Atlas now. Atlas is how old did you say again? Uh, two, two weeks ago. Two, oh yes, it was his birthday just a couple of weeks ago. He's two and he's a husky. And uh, unfortunately, or fortunately, his uh, dad and, and Atlas have um, not listened to the rumours that huskies can't be off leash. So we're, we're refusing to live with that. So we've been doing a whole bunch of e-collar training with him to get him conditioned to the to the e-collar and how to respond to the e-collar so that we can have an off-leash husky. So dad's going to move away from him and give him a wee tap in. So what, what is dad's doing here? Whenever you want, mate. So what is dad's doing here? Yes. What he's doing here is when the dog um, is not paying attention to dad. Nice, nice. Dog's not paying attention to dad. We are providing what the dog knows least comes first in the equation, remember? With with anything that you're teaching. Your negative reinforcement to positive reinforcement. Okay? So what I mean by that is you're the human is applying this tap, 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 tap to his neck. Super gentle, but also like a fly buzzing on him. So it's also annoying. It is annoying. To think, oh, but he, he loves the sensation of the e-collar. That's not true. It's not meant to love the sensation. But they associate, it's just like he doesn't love the noise of a clicker or the noise of a whistle. They're associated with wonderful things. So this very gentle tapping is associated with dad giving him affection. And he, the dog learns how to switch off that tapping by coming to his owner. Good, now walk backwards. See? So now you're getting him in tune with you. You see it? Psychologically in tune, not just physically. So this is what we're creating here. And when you when you first practice e-collar, you're doing he's doing this pressure on first, which is the e-collar sensation first. Then what we're doing is uh, he, he normally you would tap, and as soon as the dog feels it, let go of the button and call the dog, pull the line, affection. Okay, nice, nice. So, whereas now, when we get a wee bit further on, what we're doing is we apply the pressure. Every time the dog gets to the next stage of learning, you are holding him more accountable, okay? So now, he will apply the pressure, and then he, as the pressure is still on, he will call the dog, and when the dog responds by turning and walking towards, he'll release the pressure then. So almost the end of your, his words, the dog will respond. Uh, sorry, the, the pressure will go away because the dog's already responded, so we're holding them accountable. So this sort of thing here, these guys having a wrestle with a football, he would normally be way over there ignoring you. Now this time, let him get in there, let him go over, and then while he's inquisitive, you're going to maybe be the two-third line bit and recall him out of that, which would be a huge challenge. Because normally he'd be playful and going, he's kind of doing a wee bit of what you weirdos doing. But... Um, good, so find a level and recall him out of it. So what we want Atlas to... Yeah, pull the line. You don't need to go any higher. Tap again, tell him to come. Come on. Nice, nice, nice. So there's no need when we've got this time and this, this uh, you know, we're in total control where we are being proactive. There is no need to increase his levels from what he was having there. We're just giving him more direction through the line. Okay, just having a great time with the there. Brilliant time, all about building the bond. Team these numpties, look at this. Gotta, 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 gotta. Go and wrestle with that ball, go on. Go on, boys. Go on, boys. What are you like, numpties? That was a football five minutes ago. Walk again, Dad, towards them. What are they like? There's a lot of training to get them like this where they don't touch each other. They just touch the ball. Even little wee little, even a wee Frenchie. Even with these guys with their backgrounds and then look at the wee Frenchie. Okay, turn and walk towards. So it's real important when we're doing the, the teaching, you know, it's fun. Um, but it's absolutely also um, not negotiable. In other words, we keep it safe. Oh look, he's even carrying the line for Dad, look. It's carrying the line. <laughs> so we're keeping it safe. Um, that's what the line is there for. And the appropriate levels of the e-collar. But two weeks time, this guy won't have a line on and he'll recall. And he'll recall off pretty much anything. Nice, nice. Good boy, Atlas. Well done, dude. 
Yeah, it's a boy. <laughs> You're doing very well. This abused dog, you see. Very good. And it's totally appropriate when you're doing long line work to have that attached to a harness or uh, the lightness is stripped back up there. In fact, it helps it for not being as tangled. And Dad's working on levels here. Nice, nice. So, so did you see that slight little bit move away from you when he felt it before? That is, over time, that means that's sharper, as in crisper, that he comes closer to you, not away from you. That's just part of the learning, remember? And it makes sense to do it in intervals. So you remember we're doing like 10, 15 minutes at a time with as many prep, many um, opportunities to use the collar as possible. Have a 10 minute. You'll know it yourself when you go, ah, he's now just sticking to me and chilling. He's now in what we call a migration mode or a traveller state. He's just plodding along. We'll then, oh good, now he's, he's getting more excited. Let's do it again. And you're keeping him now. Look, this, this part of that ball, look. That was a bit of the football. Like. Come on, dude, here you can play with this bit. Yeah! Play with that bit, dude. Nice. So, your job while he's got that is to recall him off with that. Yes. Very good. Now, don't make it negotiable. So, if you've tapped, he has to come. So, if you hold, stay there. Yeah, go near the end of the line. Stand there. Stand on that wee bit of line, just there. Right, find a level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you're teaching him, look, you can bring that with you, dude, but you need to come with me. So if he do that again, but if he drops it and comes, go and pick it up and bring it and say, no, go on and throw it for him, you know? Do that now. So make him come first. Yeah, good boy, bring it. Right, now you go pick up the light, pick up the ball. And throw it, throw, it, uh, throw it a wee bit in front of you. So take it off him. And uh, whatever direction you're going, throw it. Yeah, totally. Use the e-collar in part of the play. Use the e-collar totally in the play. Nice. Yes. He just doesn't know it yet. He knows he needs to come, but... And, and you totally don't need to, to go higher there. If anything, you could have stayed there and just pulled the line a wee bit. So this time, for example, you stay where you are. I'll pull the line when you tap him. Okay? So you tap him and I'll see and tell him to come. Oh, let's come on. See, look, did you see the tiniest amount that helped? And then you would, you could potentially reward that yeah. by getting the ball or going to get him to chase the ball. Go and get it. Or throw it for him. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So almost use that thing that he had and he's like, oh, I have to leave that and come. No, no, bring it. He just yeah. doesn't know that yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Oh, tunted. Go get it, get it, get it! Yay! Good boy!